welcome back. I uh, figured what we'd do today is we're gonna do a Portrait Pro Body 3 tutorial. It's been out for a while, but at the same time, I've, well, you guys know, I've been busy moving and rearranging and I changed out the studio again. And I feel like this time it's actually a little bit better. I don't know, it seems to flow a little better. Plus it's easier for me to record and not have to move stuff around as much, but I can still shoot and you know do all that fun stuff. So anyways, so just a quick update. Vegas Golden Knights are playing tonight against the New York Islanders. By the time this video is done, uh, well, we'll know who won, but um, I, you guys probably know who, uh, who I'm going for. But either way, so this is actually towards the end of the day, so my throat's a little tired. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, so uh, I'm going to start out by showing you guys what I do as far as, you know, where I start from and then how I get my images into like Photoshop and then Portrait Pro and all that and then get it back into Lightroom because I do get that question a lot. My main objective when it comes to using something like Portrait Pro Body is to make sure that we're not changing the overall shape of the body, we're just changing it to have more of a, like a fitted look. So I will always do my best to make sure that you know, people always joke, oh, can you take 30 pounds off of me? No, <laughs> no, no, I can't because I want you to look like you. I'm just gonna do my best to remove as many distractions as possible, but still have it look like you. I just use Lightroom CC because I feel like it's just a lot easier. So anyways, right click, edit in Photoshop. Oh, looks like Vegas just won. All right, I knew my computer was going slow for a reason. There are plugins that work with Photoshop. So you can be in Photoshop, you can make a new layer. What I'm gonna do here is go over to uh, Filter and then go down here to Anthropics and go to Portrait Pro Body. Okay, so Portrait Pro Body edit in progress. Portrait Pro Body 3, I also found out today that they recently uh, patched it to 3.2.1. So, okay. Now, the, one of the bigger improvements about Portrait Pro Body 3 over previous versions is it is a heck of a lot faster. So um, I really like how uh, the people over at Anthropics, over at Portrait Pro, have just been really cranking up the speed on their software. Cause I think it's really, it's getting to that point where like it's just becoming just a really quick part of the workflow, unlike me talking all the time. So. Um, so, okay, we're just going to click on the nose and say female. Now, uh, it'll walk you through the process. It'll automatically kind of find different outlines and stuff. So we got the arms, upper arms over here, lower arms here, uh, waist, uh, legs. And if you notice, it already can tell that one leg is in front of the other and that the arms are behind the back and all that stuff. And it's pretty damn accurate. You can also go in and you can modify. So uh, like this is supposed to be where the belly button is. Uh, you can kind of tell that, you know, this little uh, line dot skeleton thing is pretty, pretty freaking accurate. So, um, but you just click on these, it'll take you through different sections here. You can adjust these as need be. Um, I found because, so the whole reason why I wanted to use this particular outfit for demonstration purposes is because the outfit hangs away from the body, um, giving it the appearance that the person is actually larger than they really are. And that's kind of doing them an injustice. So, um, but as you can see over here, we've got some extra material and I could do this and try to, you know, line it up uh, with that. But um, I think it actually works better. I could be wrong. If you just kind of leave it, uh, let me see, let me just go back. Command Z, Command Z, Command Z. So <laughs> I like to think this line is where her actual uh, body line is. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I've tried it both ways. And I think that this is, um, it seems to look a bit more realistic. So anyways, moving on, uh, we're going to go ahead and accept. Oh yeah. And also, uh, for those of you guys that are wondering like, well, how does, you know, what if it gets the overlap part of the body wrong, then that's what this part over here is for. 
you can just highlight these uh, left upper leg in front of right upper leg that's right uh, left upper arm is in front of torso um, not quite there we go and then right upper arm in front of torso no because her arms are behind right lower arm in front now these are all just like in case um, that looks kind of cool SpongeBob sorry <sighs> You guys were teasing me earlier about having a little too much fun when I edit these videos or when I shoot them and stuff, but I've said it before. It's like, if you're working on the computer all the time, you, you need to be a little silly once in a while, as long as you make sure you're not too silly and your clients get their pictures and they look at it like, what the f Anyways, so, okay. Now on to the big stuff. So um, here are your main sliders. Um, you can, uh, like going left will, add more or you can make them skinnier now here's the thing again i am not about making them look like someone they're not also if you double click on one of the sliders it will automatically reset it back to zero so that's cool um, what i'm looking for here is i want to see an actual waistline so um, we're not trying to you know go over to the top so I'm gonna go with curvy just a little bit. Now, if you notice, the chest starts to get a little bit bigger and the hips get a little bit wider. I'm just really, my goal is to pull in the waistline. So I'm gonna leave it curvy right about there. Torso, I'm gonna go over to waist. I'm gonna pull it in just a little bit more, not too much. Now, if you're starting to wonder if you're doing too much or not enough, over here on the left side, there's the side-by-side -side comparison. You just click on that. It'll pull up the original, and then you'll have your modified one on the left. So um, over here, if, if you can see right here, it just, the, the shirt, the blouse kind of like stove pipes. It just goes straight down the body, which is not very flattering for women. So, um, or for anybody really. So, uh, you know, to give it more of a, like a fitted look, we've got a little bit more curve here. And then on this side, just ignore the outlines here. But uh, on, on the right side over here, because it adds a little bit more curve here, it doesn't change the size of the hips. It just makes them a little bit more pronounced because the waist is being tucked in. It creates that overall look of like, okay, this is what it would look like if she wore the same blouse, but you know, maybe she just grabbed it you know, from behind and held it tight in the back to pull it in on the sides. That's really what I'm going for. I'm not going for something that makes her look totally like, you know, someone that she's not. Okay, so um, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, I apologize to Anthropics for taking so long to make this video. Again, this past year, uh, just had a lot going on with family and just moving, and then of course holidays roll around and it just gets busy again. But um, I always really appreciate when you guys uh, send me stuff that I can try out and make videos for all you guys out there that are watching so you can see this stuff for yourself and get a real world idea of whether or not this software can benefit you. Um, and if it helps when I say this, uh, I am always on the go. I am trying to get stuff done as quickly as possible and still render the best quality that I can. And 
the whole suite of software that Anthropics offers is the closest that I've uh, come to having a suite of tools that allows me to do that. So, and it's always getting better. Um, but other than that, uh, I want to hear what you guys think. Have you tried Portrait Pro Body 3? Um, are you using the older version and you're wondering whether you should upgrade or not? The short answer is yes, you should upgrade because it is so much faster and so much more accurate. I mean, literally just the money you're spending to upgrade, that's like uh, doing early check-in when you fly Southwest Airlines it's, or Business Select or whatever when you're flying. It's so worth it. Um, plus, uh, the nice guys over at Anthropics have a custom promo code for those of you guys that are ready to purchase. Uh, it's just DUSTIN10, all caps. It'll get you 10% off the total price. And there's a link in the description below where it'll take you to their website. You can download the trial version and see if it's something that you like or if you're just ready to dive in and buy it, you can do that too. Um, but if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to put out as many good videos as I can, as often as I can. I was on a bit of a sabbatical, but I'm trying to ramp it up a little bit faster now. Um, so hit the subscribe button so you're always up to speed on when new videos roll out. You can also click that little bell to let you know when a new video goes live. And also, um, you know, again, leave a comment. Uh, if you have questions or whatever, I'll do my best to answer them. Or for those of you guys that know the answer to someone else's question, feel free to chime in and give them some of your advice too. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Dustin Meyer, and I will see you in the next video.